Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button, click the like button, comment down below, all that good stuff. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers, so it'd be massively appreciated if you could drop a subscription on the channel. You get a daily trading video, um, and those of you watching me on Twitch know that I help make you guys coins. But today's video is one moving on from what happened with the ones to watch SPC drop and what we expect to see tonight on the game um, and how you guys can make coins from that. Um, if you want to watch me do this live, click the link down below, come over to Twitch, I do this all live. Again, if you want to subscribe over there, you get access to trading guides, uh, mainly a silver spreadsheet. We'll talk about silvers in this video, uh, but you also get a promo trading guide, a weekly trading guide. Uh, it'll help to make you coins. But yeah, if you are new, subscribe down below. But essentially, this video is going to move on. So on Tuesday, I think it was, we saw the ones to watch SBC. I bought a video out for you guys and told you about how to make coins. Um, we're about to see what is another... SBC, uh, this one for the winter refresh players. Now the question mark with this is going to be, uh, if you're wondering how I know that by the way, this is Twitter, Footwatch tweeted out earlier on, I uh, guarantee the winter refresh player, their impact. Now the question mark number one is going to be, what is this SBC going to cost to do? Because the ones to watch repeatable was 60 odd K, 55, 60 K, and the non-repeatable was 41 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think the winter refresh is possibly more expensive than that because there are more expensive cards. Now I think EA have brought it out I don't think EA expected the players that win that re win the refresh to be as expensive as they are. I think Fernandez is sort of 550k. Um, I think they're overpriced personally. So what do you guys need to know though in order to best make coins and not lose coins? The first one about not losing coins is if you have a winter refresh player, the chances are they go down in price once this SBC releases because we don't know if they're going to be tradable or not, but one would assume they're going to be some form of tradable pack. They're probably one tradable, one untradable like the ones to watch is. Um, if they're tradable ones that come onto the market, they will undercut each other continually. It's what happened once to watch is they undercut. Now, I want to show you a filter you can use um, that w when it comes to buying the, the the refresh cards. I want to show you the filter you can use. So let's take it as an example, uh, Fernandez. We'll take Bruno Fernandez as an example. He's not the one I'd advise you in sort of trading with because I don't think the money is in him. But what you want to do is go Bruno Fernandez, set this thing to special, and then set it to basic, right? The reason you will set it to basic tonight is if it is a tradable pack, it might not be, it might just be a untradable pack. But if it is a tradable pack, this, this filter will filter all the new ones coming onto the market and you'll be able to pick them up cheaper. So what will happen is, at 6 o'clock, when everyone lists them up and buys them and whatever happens, they'll get listed as basic cards. People that get them will list them on the market and you'll see steadily undercuts. It'll go 804 to 803 to 802 and so on and so forth. What you then want to do is go onto it, set your filter like down to buy now like that, and then you want to compare price and back out. And what that will do is it's not going to do it now because obviously the market's not like lively right now because the pack's not here yet. But it will bring up all the ones that are going to come in underneath that. And you can just keep an eye that way on the prices. Once the price settles, that's usually about an hour or so after the SBC comes out, you'll see what the price has settled at. Don't panic before or after. Just wait to see what the price settles at. Let's say, for example, he gets down to, I don't know, Let's say he goes from 600k, and this is theoretical, down to 400k, for example. You don't want to set your filter to whatever's going to make you profit for him to come up. So at 400k, I'd be looking to something like 370 max, because if you sell him for 400k, you're going to make 10k profit a card. And then you want to search like that, it'll come up, and you'll, you'll sort of snipe him that way. The better cards to do it, in my opinion, will be people like Van Arnholt. The reason... Um, why can I not spell on, on Van Arnholt? What, how do I spell Van Arnholt again? It's Van... Actually, Van Arnold, there you go. Um, he's a better card to do it with because the profit margin is better in him. He's a sort of lower rated card. Let's clear it all off and it just got up to like minimum 103 because I know he sells for about 120, 130. Um, so he's at the moment, he's at 105, even people undercutting right now. 105, give or take, he is at, right? Tonight you might see him get down as far as, I don't know, maybe 70, 80, uh, potentially. Again, you want to set your filter then for sort of Filter out the other ones that aren't really relevant. But to be fair, you're probably with him because he hasn't got any uh, informs. You could probably just set your filter for, let's say, for example, right now he's at 105. Let's go 108. Again, you want to do the same thing. Flip down to buy now and then just do this. Back in, buy out. So nothing that's going to come up is over 108 right now. But you might get a chance of something coming up at 100 or whatever. And that's the way you can make money off of the cars themselves being in packs, right? That's as simple as that. But again, make sure you set your filter to basic. Because that's the easiest way to filter out ones that were already on the market. You will miss out on some people that list them cheaper with random chem stars like Shadows and stuff like that on them. If you want to try and go for Shadow, be my guest. It's not, not necessarily a bad idea. The reason why I liked Basic is people that are doing the SBC 
put them onto the market with basic and means more, in my opinion, more supply for you to snipe up and, and just give it an hour. Give it an hour and you should be fine. Other thing to think about with the winter refresh cards is what the actual requirements of that SBC are going to be. Now, the ones to watch with 5560, I feel like this might be a bit higher. I feel like we might be looking towards a 70, 80k uh, SBC, give or take, maybe even slightly more than that. I'm thinking sort of 84, 85 for there could be a good play here. And now, if you if at 6 o'clock it comes out and you think you've missed the boat, you haven't. I've still been picking up Dalvin for the last two days, a thousand coins after under what he's selling for. For the ones to watch SBC, there is no harm in sniping up fodder when there's reason to do so. So at the moment on the market, there is reason to be doing it because the 83 one to watch is keeping the price of fodder, especially 83 rated and 82 rated, quite high. So snipe fodder. It's not hard. Again, I'd always advise if the SBC has relatively high chemistry requirements, wingers and fullbacks are your best friend. The likes of Falvin, Roberto, even 80 rated from Serie A went up with this, but high side, stuff like that. Um, if it's an 85 rated squad, Carver Howe. They're the sort of players you want to look at. Koke, Saul, look at those players. They're the ones that are going to make you most of your bank for the winter refresh SBC. That's, where I, that's how I would play this tonight, in my opinion. That's the way I think you're going to make coins. It will all come down to it as well. If it's a repeatable SBC, it's, you'll be printing coins. If it's not repeatable, you'll have to be quick. The filters will probably be quite competitive, so be mindful of that. Other things to think about tonight. We didn't get UCL marquee matchups yesterday. I think we probably get them tonight. It's EA, though. They might not bring them out at all because they like to kill their own content. It's something they have a habit of doing. If UCL marquee matchups come out tonight, this is when I and my boys, we, how we try, comes into play. And there's a chance that we get some silver supply. Now, the market is extremely high at the moment. I can't stress how high it is at the moment because EA are changing up league SBCs and adding league SBC players. So as an example, I show you guys all the time, Premier League, Aston Villa will go to. Their left-backs normally are 2,000 coins a card, give or take. At the moment, they're sat in and around 3.5 to 4k. Um, some of them will come down slightly, which isn't too bad a shout, to be fair. People, don't be the people that listen like this. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. You're, you're going to get undercut all the time. Let's go 3-5. See, this guy, if this of those up, he's been undercut left, right and centre. They're at 3k. They're 1,000 coins up. So... When buying tonight, buy into that and be mindful of the fact that Silver League SBC cards are all quite inflated, except the Bundesliga and Ligue 1. The reason why they're not overly inflated from the five major leagues, that is anyway, is because they've yet to have their SBC card, okay? So, as we've seen, for example, let's go to Norwich. They got their new card yesterday. Shaqiri was the card in the League SBC. Centre-backs. Last I checked, they were extinct, but they're probably going to be about bang on 10k. They are all 10k right now. They're at max price, the Norwich centre-backs, okay? That's high. It's extremely high for them. They're normally about 6, 7, 8k maximum. Um, they're very, very high. So what does that mean for you guys? First things first. Tonight, if we do not get a new league, league SBC player, I'd be looking to buy into Bundesliga and League 1 players. And hold, basically. Now, if we go silver for these guys, given the same sort of situation we've seen with the Premier League, these guys, if they rise in the same way the Premier League's risen, because of a silver market fluctuation, they should be up at for, sort of 6, 7k. They're not... Because there's no hype about their league SBC at the moment because they haven't had their extra player. If they get their extra player tonight, still hit up that Bundesliga as much as you can. Because the players will come down with the silver supply and rise up very quickly as they're taken off the market for people to do the SBC. I cannot stress that enough. Right now I'll be buying into silvers from that league and from Ligue 1. Ligue 1's relatively cheap anyway, so it's very low risk. Um, but that's definitely something you need to be thinking about. The reason why people are starting to do it now, the reason why silvers from those things, are starting to see quite a big jump is simplistic, really. Firstly, I always tell you guys, people like to open up packs. They like to open up any sort of pack they can. People are, it's addictive. We all know it is. But if you look at the sort of packs at the moment, the cards you can get, you've got an 83 and an 84 in this league, an 84 and an 84 in the Chinese league, 83 and 84 there. However, with the Syria, Verdi went up to an 87 rated card. A good card, to be fair. Five-star weak foot, not bad at all. Uh, the Premier League... We got an 87 rated Shakiri. Again, not a bad card at all. Much better reward, I think, for League SBCs. And the Liga Santander, we got an 88 rated card in Korea. Again, a very good card, very usable. But why does that matter? And the reason why it matters so much is simplistically because League SBC grind is back. Now, if you don't know what League SBC grind is, I'm going to be bringing a video out on it because I'm starting to do it on this account. But essentially, it's where you open up bronze packs, you keep your bronze players that are for League SBCs, and you put the non-league SBC bronzes into silver packs, like bronze upgrade. The silver, uh, silver cards you get back from that, from the two silver upgrade pack, you keep the league SBC silvers, you put the non-league the non SBC silvers into the silver upgrade pack into three common golds. Again, keep the common golds that are league SBC teams. 
and then put the non-league SBT teams into the two rare gold pack and you grind it out that way. Initially, there's an outlay when you first stock your club up. After that, you make most of your coins back, if not all your coins back from, from doing the packs and getting what you get in the packs. Um, it's a method that was used last year to make the Icon SBCs, to make the Icon SBCs basically free. You could do most Icons relatively cheaply, if not again for free. Um, but because the high-rated cards are there, people have suddenly gone, actually, this is now a viable method this year because I can get an 88, an 87, an 87 from each of those ones there. Probably more 87s or 88s from the other League SBCs that come out. And suddenly you can start using those cards to put into player SBCs, anything that you really want to use, or you can just use the cards generically. So that's why right now silver trading is massively, massively profitable. What we're seeing with silvers is when we get big silver supply, the market drops off, but it bounces back pretty quickly. Usually within 24 hours, it's back where it started, which is super for trading with silvers. Again, if you guys want to learn about trading silvers, come and watch me live on stream. If you want to subscribe over on Twitch, you get access to a trading guide. We've got nearly 200 people now subscribed over there. We've got over 400 people in our Discord, which is completely free to join. Please feel free to come over. As you guys can see, my coin total now sat at 3.7 million, which is very, very, very good. Um, I'm very happy with that. We brought, we need to buy two players. I'm probably going to buy Dalgleish, and I'm probably going to buy potentially a moment CDM. Uh, I'm not sure which one yet. Maybe Desai buy him back once he comes down in price a bit more and play him next to Sanchez. But realistically, the club's in very good shape at the moment. We're doing really, really well. I'm very happy with it. Can't be too angry. We keep moving. We keep grinding. Uh, and we we'll see how it goes. But that's going to be the end of the video, lads. Please do what I've just said to do. I promise you you'll make coins. I did it the other day. From, from De Jong's loan, I made a quarter of a million coins. It's not hard. I promise it's not hard. That's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, like I say, subscribe down below. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you soon.